Okay, today we're going to do a Jupiter style planet. We've got our, we've got our paper tape down. And so what we're going to look at is a couple of different ways to do the cloud pattern on Jupiter. It's got the lines across it. Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. Um, so I've got two smaller stencils here, so we'll do two similar planets, similar cloud patterns, but just different methods of doing each one. And we have our silhouette for the two different parts, types of planet. So we're looking at yellows, oranges, um, but I mean you can use any any colours you want, any combination of colours. <coughs> I'll do, I'll put similar colours on there, or same colours, and I'll just, um, we'll just explore different ways of uh, getting the patterns. We'll just scrape across and we'll see what it's done. Do that. So you get that pattern. And then if you want you can go Paper and we turn it. Remember, you're trying to you're trying to project a 3D object, a sphere. So, uh, where is this? It, it, it's pretty neat. If you get your bit of paper and then pivot at one point and then just. gives you the look of a sphere and then we can shade do our shading um, which enhances the look of the sphere so we might put some darker colors on one side to give our our, um, our shadows and a lighter color to enhance our our highlights
Dit moet er heel binnen. Maak. En dan gaan we curve in. To give that, that spherical appearance. That's what we're trying to trying to give the illusion of. So if we'll, we'll do this corner of this one. Okay, we'll let that dry for a few minutes and then we'll put our templates back on and then we'll, uh, we'll paint the sky and we'll see what they look like. Our trusted little timer. Paints are pretty well dry. So we'll put our templates back on. Space scene. Might even put a, a nebula or something through here, and maybe put a star in here. We'll have a look. scatter our little stars around or we'll do that first and then put the other ones so what I normally do is I'll pick brighter bright colors or um, some of these um, fluorescent colors uh, and just you just quickly run through it so let's turn that to one side now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight across like that and do that with each one of the colours. Again, you've got to watch it, yeah, what colours you use, what brand you use. It, you start mixing brands, you, you can have problems. Some are alright, some are compatible with one another. Others will delay your, your curing time. Um, and, and some are just, they just don't mix at all. So you, the best idea is to, if you're not sure, get a scrap piece of paper, put two colours together, and, and see how they react together. Okay, this is a um, fluorescent green. And 
basically you just do this until you've got something that you're quite happy with. Just pour as many colours on there. And doing it while it's wet like this, while you've got the background that's wet, the colours blend in a little bit more, they disperse and you haven't got that definition that between one colour and the next. Uh, it, it gives it that, uh, that misty appearance. Um, all right, I'll put a little bit, another two little, two colours and then we'll call that quick, call this bit. go mad with this but it's all part of the learning curve it's all fun it's it's, it's your painting do what you want you know it's called artistic license you have the license to do what the hell you want to do with it so have fun this is a bit of red handy having a, a table that you can rotate around like that. Now what we'll do is um, uh, we might we'll pull the templates off, we'll let this dry a little bit then we'll do our stars and we'll see what it looks like. We'll start our pick done up again. Add a little toner again. Pull them off. You see the difference between the two. Where we just brought that straight across, and this one we arced it. Anyway, we'll come back to this and give it 20 minutes, half an hour, and we'll come back. It's pretty well dry, so what we're going to do now is put our templates back on. We'll do our stars, might even put a star around here somewhere, a sun, um, and we'll have a look what that looks like. So put our get our templates. as you can. As I said the problem with if you leave these on there while it's wet your templates will stick to your, your, your painting. You can use clear if a, if a part of it sticks you can spray a bit of clear on there and you may rescue it but then again you might not so I think it's probably better off in the long run if you just take it off and then because all we're going to do is put some we're going to put the stars down so we get our brush So there's our paint. So a bit of a flip.
you go backwards and forwards over the middle, you'll sort of get that middle of the Milky Way effect where it bulges with that light. And again, you can do this with as many colours as you want. So we'll get our little, uh, our little tap on tap ometer, not ometer, and change direction. Just get a nice coverage without being too dense and what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a star roughly in there somewhere so get our straight edge and we sort of roughly work out where we're going to put our star and when you use your straight edge don't put it actually on there lift it up slightly and what the paint will do it'll you get the overspray underneath that edge so you haven't got that definite edge and it looks more natural so what we're going to do one edge down Okay, so that's going to give the appearance that this star is closer to these two planets. You've got the nebula at the back, and you've got all these stars in the distance. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. So what we'll do is, we'll take that off, take that off, and I reckon that looks pretty neat. So what we'll do is we'll get our clear, spray across, up and down, and we'll sign it, and finish painting. Put our mask. And that's the finished painting.
Oh, that looks pretty neat. And you can do this too. Cheers. Happy painting.